Selena Gomez talked about all things music when she stopped by The Tonight Show earlier this week, but Jimmy Fallon shocked Cell with news that she inspired one of Billie Eilish's most popular and iconic songs. What is up you guys, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News, and one of my favourite things ever is when worlds collide, especially when it's two of my favourite celebs and they get inspo from each other. In this case, it's Selena Gomez and Billie Eilish who are clearly fans of each other. Earlier this week when Cell was on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, they talked about all things rare. During the interview, Selena revealed the meaningful reason she decided to call her album rare. She said, quote, the word is so special and it means a lot. With rare being such a simple word, she hopes to inspire fans to be comfortable in their own skin because they, quote, weren't meant to look like everyone else. They were meant to be who they are. But Selena also talked about how every detail on the album mattered to her, including things like the lyrics and the production of each track. Jimmy asked Selena about a notable producer on personally one of my favorite songs, Lose You To Love Me. You worked on, I think, or maybe on that song, with Phineas, is that? Billy Eilish's yeah. brother? Yeah, actually, he, uh, we, we finished up the song and gave him the song to produce it himself. Selena went on to say that Phineas, quote, did an amazing job. He's obviously extremely talented. And we couldn't agree more. He's produced all of Billy's music with her, so he's clearly one of the best in the biz at the moment. And I recently was lucky enough to chat with him at the AMAs. And honestly, not only is he incredibly talented, but listening to him speak about Billy, I mean, they are absolute sibling goals. And after this is when things got really fun during Selena's interview. Jimmy surprised her with the news that Billy actually has gotten inspo from Selena in the past. You're an inspiration for the song, Bad Guy, but not you. <laughs> the, the, Am I the bad guy? You're not the bad No. The, no, I'm the, kidding. Obviously, Selena wasn't the bad guy, and the connection actually took us on a trip down memory lane. Jimmy revealed the Wizards of Waverly Place theme song was actually an inspiration behind Billy's Grammy-nominated song, Bad Guy. The theme song of Wizards of Waverly Place <laughs> was an inspiration. <laughs> It was an inspiration to her, to, to getting the tune. That's... Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> I so I thought maybe it. it'd be fun to I play. Billy. To... Oh, Selena's reaction to finding out this news is so sweet. They then played each song and honestly, you can actually hear some similarities. Now you've got to listen to both tracks back to back to see what I'm talking about. Please, yes, please. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of right. Okay. Here's, here's Bad Guy. <laughs> But Billy and Phineas also revealed the Wizards of Waverly Place connection during their interview with Rolling Stone. You know what it literally is? It's not at all the same melodies, but it's literally Plants vs. Zombies. And Wizards of Waverly Place. And Wizards Place. of Waverly Place. Well, you know, everything's gonna be a Now, all I'm gonna say is Selena, Billy, Phineas, we are ready for the collaboration. And fans could not agree more. They are taking to Twitter to share their thoughts. One person shared this gif and said, quote, I think I need a Selena and Billie Eilish collab. And another fan shared Selena's Jimmy Fallon interview and wrote, quote, Billie Eilish, Selena Gomez, I want a collab. And another said, quote, Selena and Billy should collab, it would be great. And we couldn't agree more, you guys. The dreamlike and raw sound of Billie's voice mixed with Selena's breezy and deeper sound would absolutely be incredible together. And with Phineas and Selena working together, it doesn't seem that far-fetched. But Selena's song, Lose You To Love Me, that Phineas produced is only one of many very emotional raw songs that are on her new album. In a new interview with Billboard, Selena said that she refuses to apologize for speaking and singing her the truth. She said, quote, I've said this before, but I used to be terrified of saying anything. I would find myself protecting people that never protected me or cared for me. I wouldn't want to say the wrong thing and I wouldn't want people to think that I had any other motive other than just being a kind person. Though that is who I am and I'm proud of that. She continued on and said, quote, I was just done, you know, just done being silent and I felt like I deserved to have a moment for myself after going through so much and throwing that all into this album. Selena then talked about her song, Lose You To Love Me, which became her first song to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and how far it has come since she first wrote it. She said, quote, when I wrote the song, Lose You To Love Me, I was kind of a mess. It was really difficult for me. And by the time we shot the music video at the end of the year, it had a completely different meaning and it was so free. Another track that fans are loving off the album is her empowering song, Vulnerable. In the song, we hear Selena sing about wondering if a potential lover will handle her heart with care. She spoke to Billboard in detail about the track. Selena said, quote, 
I turned bitter for a while. I was extremely bitter and very dry. I was just disconnected to my feelings for so long. But I go to therapy. I felt like, why do I do this? Why do I give myself away to people, even if it's just friends or random people? Why do I do that? And I realized it is because one of my strengths that I thought was a weakness is being vulnerable. And now with some of her most challenging days yet behind her, Selena says she's looking forward to the future. She said, quote, I have all these different goals and I feel like I'm in the happiest place I've ever been in my life. And I say that with such conviction. So I think that the possibilities are endless. Oh, and we love that attitude and vision for 2020 and beyond. But right now, you guys, I want to know what you think of all of this. Were you surprised to hear that the Wizards of Waverly Place was actually the theme song that inspired Bad Guy? And what did you think of Selena's reaction to this news? And also, would you just not love a Billy and Selena collab as much as I would? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, you guys, don't be a bad guy. Please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, catch up on all the news you missed right over here. I'm Susan Warad. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.